Right now, a football coach is accused of child sex abuse, where our team has learned about the charges. New updates in the case against former President Donald Trump in Georgia. What has grand jury members worried for their safety? And be sure to get out there and enjoy today's weather as this weekend looks to bring a return to the 90s. I'll have your forecast coming up. We are live on the Iowa State Fairgrounds from Pioneer Hall, learning all about all the different vendors in this building. This is Good Morning Iowa. Good morning, Iowa. Happy Friday. We made it to the end of the week. It is 6 o'clock. Feeling that Friday vibe. Feeling that Friday feels. All right, the State Fair is still rolling on today. A few more days left. We're talking about all the food and the livestock competitions and the showcases out there. Lots to see still yeah, yeah. Uh, as we head into the weekend. Local Vibe is on your side. We've been bringing you team coverage to help get your family ready for fair time. Larissa Millis is live at Fairgrounds, bringing us more info about what you can do and find today. But before that, oh, Evan, we got to buckle up for some heat. Hold on to today because it's going to get miserable. How come Larissa gets to go out to the fair? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is going to be miserable this weekend, but today we have one more day of nice weather. Temperatures really cool, which is coming up. All right, thank you. Green shorts. Are I know those green shorts up there. Do you I like them. I'm not wearing them. <laughs> 601 is your time alive. Look at your traffic in Des Moines, Ames, Ankeny, as well as Urbandale. Everything looks great out there so far. I've been looking around the metro. No crashes, no lane closures at this time. It is 6.01, so just under 100,000 people went to the State Fair Wednesday, bringing this year's total to more than 700,000 visitors. Yeah, lots of people. It's been busy, but that doesn't even include Thursday's numbers. Those are coming out later today, but here's what's on tap for your family at the fair today. It's a big one for everyone. Today's Iowa Corn Day. You can check out events like the famous husband calling competition and kids cinnamon roll championship on the grandstand. It's rapper Ludacris featuring Sean Kingston taking me all the way back. That begins at 8 p.m. And we're in the last few days of the fair and with so many children set to start school next week, it's sure to be a busy one today. Yeah, Local 5 is here to help you make the most of it. Larissa Millis joins us live this morning from Pioneer Hall at the Iowa State Fairgrounds. Yeah, good morning, guys. Five, seven, ten, twenty-six. Now to look at five politics at 604. Governor Kim Reynolds will interview two more Republican candidates for president today during her last Fairside Chats sessions. Those are Perry Johnson and former Representative Will Hurd. Johnson and Hurd did not qualify to take part in next week's Republican debate. It is 604, the FBI. In a developing story, a high school football coach in Creston is being held on child sex abuse charges. Authorities arrested Ryan Kissel earlier this week. Localized Mary Sugden has details about this case, but first a warning. The descriptions in the court case may be disturbing to some. According to 46 criminal complaints, administrative leave until further notice. That was Local 5's Mary Sugden reporting. Kissel is still in jail this morning. We have reached out to the Nottoway Valley Superintendent to confirm a report from the Creston News Advertiser. The district has hired a new football coach. A man described as a can guilty. Right now, shoppers are worried that Rao's pasta sauce recipe could change. Campbell's recently bought out Sovos Brands, which owns Rao's. The pasta sauce line has gathered a following as a premium but affordable options. Campbell's insists the product quality won't change, although some of those fans, they remain skeptical. And we'll talk about those high temperatures coming up. All right, thank you, Evan. Let's get a live look at your traffic right now. Looking in Des Moines as well as Urbandale, Ankeny, and Ames. Things look good out there so far. Not seeing any issues as far as uh, crashes or lane closures. So, hey, everything looking good for your Friday morning commute. Preparing for a lot of change. The So Iowa State Fair is always a go-to spot for some great food, don't we know it? Yeah, lots of food out there. <laughs> Local 5's Larissa Millis is live at the Iowa State Fairgrounds at Pioneer Hall with one of those vendors. Are you eating anything this morning or what's going on? Oh, I, I'm definitely going to be eating some food this morning because I'm too busy enjoying all this food in here. So. <laughs> 
Mmm, I need a little sugar rush yeah, from right. that too. Uh, Garrett there. Garrett's got a sweet job. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> awesome. there. Oh, Garrett, we're jealous. We, Bring we us back some, there. Marissa. I've had that walnut taffy. It's good. Ooh, really? <laughs> and their donuts are good too. Mm. Oh, yeah. Can never go wrong with a donut. I can't. Larissa, you go out there, you have delicious. some more taffy. I'm delicious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> have some more taffy. Tell Garrett we say what's up. Uh, that's, Absolutely. That's some good stuff there. Uh, I need to try that. Oh, absolutely. You said it was good. You've had it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Taffy's incredible. Mm. You're next. I'm next. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to try it. All right. Okay. Maybe okay. today's a good day I'll get out there. Exactly. Nice transition there because we do have a really <laughs> nice day out there. Today is by far the best day to go to the State Fair for the remaining days that are out there. We are starting out on the cool side right now here in Des Moines. 54 degrees. A brief cool down as we head into Friday and Saturday of next week. Ooh, hot for the start of school. All right, 617 is your time. A live look at traffic here in Des Moines, Urbandale, Ames, as well as Ankeny. Things look good out there this morning. No complaints. The morning commute looks great. All right, be sure to say hey to us at the Iowa State. University of Iowa welcomed its new interim athletic director during a press conference Thursday. Beth Getz is taking over for longtime AD Gary Barda, who retired back in May. And she had a lot of ground to cover from the women's basketball team's rising popularity to the recent sports betting scandal involving athletes. According to Getz, the investigation affects more than the students responsible. She hopes to receive news from the NCAA sooner rather than later. We're optimistic that we are just hopefully days away, uh, perhaps, from, from getting some feedback, at least initially, on what that means for our student athletes who uh, currently are here and have uh, remaining eligibility. All right, you can watch the full press conference on our website, weareiowa.com. Just click on the article on our homepage about Iowa's interim athletics director. We had a beautiful look over downtown Des Moines this morning. Meteorologist Evan Bunkers has a look at your weather when we come back. Time right now, 622. Day forecast. We'll talk about the next chance for rain and our high temperatures in my 10 day forecast. Chinoo, which is coming up. All right, thank you, Evan. 626 is your time. A live look at traffic here. Things look great out there this morning. I'm continuing to check with Iowa DOT. They are not reporting any crashes or lane closures. Road conditions also look great for your Friday morning. Thank you, Chinoo. Five generations. And we're in store for a hazy day today, but buckle up. The heat is about to return in a big, big way. I'll talk high temperatures in my 10 day forecast coming up. We are live at the Iowa State Fairgrounds from Pioneer Hall, where later today there's going to be something called husband calling. Because family is number one, and that's why we're all here. The special celebration for one family that spans generations at the fair. And when another hotel is set to open in Norwalk and where it'll be. This is Good Morning Iowa. Good morning, Iowa. Happy Friday to all of you. It is 629 on your Friday morning. Brace yourself for the husband calling. Uh, it is going to be a whole thing. The Iowa State Fair continues to roll right through into the weekend. I, I, yeah, I don't know if I can prepare for that one. <laughs> Local Fives on your side this morning, bringing you all the team coverage to get your family ready for the fair. Local Fives, Larissa Millis, is live at the State Fairgrounds this morning at Pioneer Hall. We're going to check in with her in just a minute. First, though, get ready yeah. for a nice day, and then it's going to heat up. Absolutely. Uh, like, t like I said earlier, today is by far the best day to go to the Iowa State for a 90s. We'll let you know how long the heat's going to stick around. 10 day forecast, it's coming up. All right, thank you, Evan. Uh, let's get a check on your traffic here. Looking in these four areas, Des Moines, Urbandale, Ames, and Ankeny things look great out there. Moving along just fine. Road conditions also look great. If you're heading out the door now at 631, uh, good news, all lanes, all directions open at this time. At 631, just under 100,000 people attended the Iowa State Fair Wednesday, bringing this year's total to more than 700,000 visitors. Yeah, it has been a busy week at the fair, but that doesn't even include Thursday's numbers. Those are coming out later today. We'll update you on that later. Here's what's on tap for today, though. It's a big one. Today's Iowa Corn Day. You can check out events like the famous Husband Calling Competition and Kids Cinnamon Roll Championship on the grandstand. It's Luda, rapper Ludacris Luda. featuring Sean Kingston. That all kicks off at 8 p.m. 
Take me back to my middle school, high school days there. Let's grab that front row. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, of course, on this last Friday of the State Fair, there's plenty of fun to be had. Local Files Larissa Millis joins us live this morning from Pioneer Hall at the fairgrounds with some of the big highlights. Good morning, Larissa. Yeah, good morning, guys. We've been in Pioneer Hall all morning. This building, as I've mentioned a few times, is the oldest building on the fairgrounds dating all the way back to the first Iowa State Fair, and that is husband calling. So coming up in a little bit, we are going to be talking to a husband caller who's actually, I would say, kind of world famous for her husband calling. So definitely something that is going to be a new experience for me that I'm very excited to learn about. <laughs> All right, Larissa, uh, for your next uh, check in here, I'm going to expect you to have your own husband calling uh, call. So get ready. All right. Start thinking about how that's going to go down. All right. All right. Thank you, Larissa. We'll check in in a little bit. One thing you find plenty of at the Iowa State Fair is traditions. Local 5's Dana Cyril's has more on how one family is celebrating and carrying on their own tradition. There are five generations of people and people travel from all over to come here for this family reunion. At the State Fairgrounds, Dana Searles, Local 5 News. Yeah, great story there from Dana. Just again, highlighting one of those very unique things about the State Fair. Um, it's not just all food and music. There are so many different things yeah. that you can see at the fair. And I bet you they have seen it all. Oh yeah, <laughs> the story. stories, can you imagine? Oh. I mean, we're experiencing a lot of the state yeah. fair uniqueness, you know, for the first time being here for a few years yeah. now. Uh, but they know the ins and outs. And oh, I yeah. bet they got stories. Those stories are probably incredible. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're going to be out at the state fair today, so be sure to come say hey to us. You can join the GMI team and other Local 5 staff for our weather lab and broadcast booth. In a developing story, a playground in Clive is in ruins this morning following a suspected arson this week. This is at Stonegate Park near Northwest 156th and Hickman and Clive. When firefighters responded, they found the playground fully engulfed in flames. The availability for this playground for the community is no longer there. So it's, it's, it's sad for the, the people that would normally use this and it, it's really just a, a senseless crime. Replacing the playground equipment will cost Clive $150,000. If you have any information about this fire, give them a call. Meantime, at this hour in Des Moines. An update this morning in the aftermath of those wildfires in Maui, Hawaii. At least 111 people are dead. Possibly more than 1,000 people are still missing. All right, 637 is your time. We are Iowa's most accurate forecast. A look here through Sky Tracker 5 over downtown Des Moines. A nice start to your day. The sun is out. Grab the shades. Get ready for your Friday at the Iowa State Fair. Evan, uh, good, good day to get out there. Oh, absolutely. Like I said in the last hour, by far the best day for the remaining days that are the Iowa State Fair is going to be today is we're going to see heat indices into the well well into the 100s and it's going to be even hotter as we go into the middle part of next week. Are we going to get any relief from the heat? Well, we'll talk about it in my forecast, which is coming up. All right, Evan, thank you. 638 is your time. Let's get a live look at your traffic right now, shall we? Des Moines, Ames, as well as Urbandale and Ankeny. Look at that. Everyone moving along just fine out there this morning. Road conditions also look great out there. Uh, as you heard Evan say, it's going to be a beautiful day today. Uh, so get out to the State Fair if you can. Um, but other than that, uh, right now your morning commute looks great. And speaking of the fair, DART is helping you get to the Iowa State Fair. You can park your car for free and ride the bus to the fairgrounds. Three park and ride locations are available. One near 7th and Center. That's close to the Iowa Event Center. The other is by the Iowa State Capitol on East 12th and 3rd. Last but not least, that one is at Southeast Polk High School in Pleasant Hill. All buses, keep in mind, drop off and pick up at Gate 10 at the fairgrounds. That is on East 30th. New this morning, it's open late next year. Looking ahead tomorrow, a celebration of the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl win earlier this year. That'll be in Des Moines. The main attraction, of course, the team's Lombardi Trophy. You can see that trophy at the downtown Des Moines Farmers Market from 7 a.m. until noon. All right, here's a live look out at the Iowa State <laughs> Fairgrounds. Oh, yeah. All right, 642 is your time. The Iowa State Fair isn't just about food or rides. You know, those contests, they are a big deal. I got to control. One of those is the husband calling contest. Local 5's Larissa Millis is live at the Iowa State Fairgrounds at Pioneer Hall. Okay, um, what we just heard before we went to break woke us up. You got a competitor with you, Larissa. 
I, I do. I am here at Pioneer Hall on the State Fairgrounds. But it's easier to find a two-syllable name. Okay, well, I know somebody whose name is two syllables, syllables so we're going to use this name. Okay. All right, here Good we luck. go. Oh, my goodness. I'm a little nervous for this. Okay. Deep breath. Shania! <laughs> <laughs> How was that? How was that? <laughs> you guys, I don't think I have a future. I was going to say, don't quit your day job. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, uh, wow, wow, wow. I feel like I'm in trouble, maybe, or, uh, ooh, Yeah, good what did job. you do? <laughs> what did you do to her to get that? <laughs> She's new. You I was not expecting this today. <laughs> wow, okay. Good job, Larissa. Uh, A for effort. <laughs> I'm not going to Should Thank I try? You. <laughs> Thank you. No, oh, God. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, good job. Good job. You are... You are uh, taking in all that the Iowa State Fair has to offer. Yeah, and then some. Hey, let's end with her giving us uh, the winning husband call. You want me to do it again? Oh my goodness. <laughs> deep breath, deep breath. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Inhale. Support from the diaphragm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Inhale. <laughs> Let's have, let's, have, have let's have Virginia try it. Yeah. Let's have Virginia try it. Have the pro oh, show us how it's Virginia, done. Virginia, not me. They want, oh, you, want you to do it. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, here, here we, we go. go. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> 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 oh. There we go. All right, Larissa, take some notes. Take some notes and come back to the station. All right, we'll check it back with you in a little bit here. Woo. Ooh. Huh? I that, can't hear you. That was, <laughs> wow. That was spicy. Was that loud enough for you? It was. <laughs> Still feeling it a little bit out there, but yeah. That, ooh. yeah. Give Larissa credit though, that was pretty good. That was good, that was yeah. good. Well, All right, uh, shall we talk about the weather? I mean, I guess. Uh, back to that. <laughs> Let's talk about the weather. It's a great oh. start today here in Central Iowa. And if you need to go out to the fair, today is by far the best day to do it for the remaining days that are out there. It's going to be actually somewhat mild here this morning, temp day, and that also will bring us our next chance of rain into next weekend. All right, Evan's calling it a hundo for uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Thank you. Let's get a live look at your traffic this morning. Looking at Des Moines, Ames, Ankeny and Urbandale. Things look great out there this morning. I just checked with DOT. Nothing to be worried about for your Friday morning commute at this time. Thank you, Chanu. I'm going to scream your name pretty soon. to stay fair coverage still so contests as you just saw from the husband calling it gets people fired up yeah people love these <laughs> so on thursday we found that younger or the lure of the iowa state fair blue ribbon is strong here's local five stephanie angleson our next chances for showers and thunderstorms but even then it's just a slight chance at 20 percent all right thank you evan let's get a quick check on your traffic right now at 657 uh, in des moines urbandale ankeny as well as ames things look great out there today i uh, haven't seen any issues on the road so far for your friday morning commute so hey if you're heading at the door before seven o'clock have a good drive. Nothing uh, out there to get in your way. Awesome. Thank you, Chanu. Be sure to say hello to us at the Iowa State Fair. You can join the GMI team and other local five staff for our weather lab and broadcast booth experiences. Grand Avenue in front of the administration building today through Sunday. All right, everyone. Happy Friday. Enjoy the fair. Thanks for joining us.